brand new video today we're doing nba player props here on prize picks for friday april 21st before i get started link is in the description below to sign up for prize picks you guys can use promo code tuff or use the link in the description 100 deposit match we got flex friday going on on prize picks there's a discord link in the description as well as patreon link in there as well where i post all the plays here that i'm making on prize picks for each given sport that i play Again, I'm not a gambling expert, not financial advice, simply just plays on personally looking at making, hopefully giving you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions here. But yeah, we have a decent slate today, uh, three games, Boston, Atlanta, Cleveland, New York, and then Denver versus Minnesota here on this Friday night. Um, yeah, let's get into it. All these games, I think, hopefully, ideally, these games should be closer. I'm not projecting any blowouts here in this game. Obviously, Cleveland Knicks um is an interesting one i think this game is should remain close vegas thinks so one and a half point spread atlanta playing back at home as well five point spread for boston and then um, minnesota playing back at home is only two and a half point spread so hopefully these games can all remain close right these blowouts have really been really really a big factor um in player props so far in the playoffs like these blowouts have been absolutely insane we're seeing superstars play like sometimes 30 minutes in playoff games due to these blowouts so Again, keep that in mind, but let's get into it. Uh, two plays that I do like. Both of these plays are actually going to be fantasy scores. I just feel like fantasy scores have been good for us um, lately. Um, the first one is just going to be Trey Young over 40 and a half. Now, I know there's just so much Trey Young slander um, going on right now in general, um, but I think there's a great bounce back opportunity here for Trey Young. So we take a look at some splits real quick. Trey Young's home versus away splits are actually insane. 24.9 points per game on the road. It jumps up to 27 and a half points at home. So almost three more points per game at home. His assists jump up 1.1 more assists at home. Rebounds jump up. Um, steals and blocks remain relatively the same. But he does uh, he does take slightly more field goal attempts, um, slightly more three-point attempts as well, and gets to the line about almost two more times more um, per game. But basically, you guys at home, Trey Young is averaging... Like, literally, he's averaging 30, what is this, like, 20, 37 point, or 38.2 PA. Um, he's pretty much averaging, like, 40 PRA at home this season. We take a look at some odds for Trey Young. He's over 36.5 PRA to go over, minus 125 to go over 36.5 PRA. Um, we take a look at his fantasy score game log this season over his last 15 games at home. He's hit this in 13 of his last 25 home games. 13 of his last 25 home games, you guys, he has hit this the over on this at home, right? I mean, even if you just take a look, I mean, he's pretty much hit this. This hit rate is absolutely insane, you guys, at home. His hit rate at home, like I said, the splits at home versus away is pretty crazy. He's faced the Boston Celtics actually twice this season um, at home and had 48 fantasy in only 31 minutes back in November and then faced them at, in March um, at home. He had 55 fantasy in 34 minutes. So I think there's really strong chance we see Trey Young like actually play um you know close to 36 plus minutes tonight he played 35 and 34 in these first two games versus Boston which were kind of some blowouts here he take uh took 22 shots in the last game and I think he had 17 potential assists only converted six of those we know the assists will go up um considering how much better Atlanta is going to shoot at home Atlanta is a much better home team uh most teams almost all every team in the NBA is much better at home but like I see, look at these two smashes on the over versus Boston at home this season. We take a look at Trey Young's fantasy score game long at home this season, logging 34 plus minutes. The hit rate is pretty insane as well. I mean, we're looking at like, I don't know, the it's probably like 17 of 20 games he has hit the over on this when he logs 34 minutes at home. We also take a look at Trey Young's fantasy score game lock in game threes um, at home in his career um, in the playoffs, right? He's had four playoff games at home um, in his career in the playoffs and he's you know had at least 40 fantasy in all four of those games again 39 40 37 and 37 minutes across those last four games uh as far as the uh playoff games game threes at home now i mean and now in this situation they're down 2-0 i'm not sure how many of these series he's been down 2-0 but the hawks are going to need a massive game from trey young uh, i'm sure he sees all the slander was recently named the most overrated player in the nba here um yeah, I'm just. I just feel like the Trey Young fantasy score is is too low at 40 and a half. We saw this consistently at like 43 and a half, 44 and a half all season long. His last game was at 39 and a half. So we get it at 40 and a half here at home for Trey Young. Uh, I just like it. I think it's too low for a player with his usage. For the splits, home versus away are just absolutely insane. The hit rate at home, last 15 games of the season, guys. 13 of his last 15, he hit the over on this. 
you can see the hit rate 55 against boston in 34 minutes also had like i said 48 against boston in 31 minutes earlier this season so i love trey young tonight over 40 and a half fantasy the second one is going to be donovan mitchell uh, over his uh, 46 and a half now you guys this i think in game one or game two this was at 49 and a half we get it three point discount here because it's on the road for donovan mitchell and the Cavs, but I mean, Donovan Mitchell actually plays a little bit better on the road. So if we take a look at his fantasy score game log this season versus the Knicks, this is just this season, right? We need 46. He set this in four of six games. He had a 35.3 fantasy point game back here um, in December. I think this was, you know, pretty not a great game for him. Eight for 22 from the field. So the volume was obviously there. Only shot two for 11 from three. Um, but finished with 35.3, and then uh, 45.9, 53, 60, 64, and 66. So this is obviously including the two playoff games. But if you take a look, in game one uh, against the Knicks at home, he had 66 fantasy in 44 minutes. He shot, th he scored 38, 5, 8, and 3, um, took 30 field goal attempts, and then he had 45.9 um, in game two. But he only took 11 field goal attempts in that game, you guys. He had 45.9 and only 11 field goal attempts. We know the field goal attempts aren't going to stay that low here. Um, he's going to shoot 20 field goal attempts tonight on the road. Uh, just a narrative, right? Donovan Mitchell is born and raised in New York City. Or not New York City, but he's born and raised in New York. He you know, grew up a Knicks fan. He grew up a New York uh, Mets fan, you can see here. Um, his father was actually a director of player relations for the New York Mets. He grew around, grew up around Major League Baseball locker rooms. Um, so he's a huge New York sports fan, right? So he's playing in Madison Square Garden in the playoffs, his first playoff game in Madison Square Garden. Um, he, you know he's going to show out. Um, the splits actually benefit up benefit us as well. We can see here Donovan Mitchell splits home versus away. He averages actually almost two more field goal attempts on the road. He averages a whole 1.3 more points per game on the road. And... Um, I mean, all of his stats pretty much relatively go up on the road as far as scoring and his field goal attempts and his minutes, right? 36.4 minutes per game on the road. Um, we know Donovan Mitchell is going to play massive minutes. He saw 44 and 39 minutes in both home games here in this matchup. Take a look here at his fantasy points per minute. 1.34 fantasy points per minute for Donovan Mitchell over his last five games, right? So 1.34. If Donovan Mitchell, let's just say conservatively, you guys, on the road tonight in New York, sees 38 minutes. I'm doing the math on a calculator right now. Times 1.34. We're looking at 50 fantasy points for Donovan Mitchell conservatively if he plays 38 minutes based on his per minute averages over his last five games. Um, the odds for us as well, um, pretty decent is, you know, he's minus 121 to go over 40 and a half, which is juice on the over for 40 and a half fantasy for Donovan Mitchell. I mean, I like the, I like the odds for that one. Obviously, Caesars is one of the more generous books. We take a look at Donovan Mitchell's fantasy score game log this season, logging 38 plus minutes, you guys. When he plays 38 plus minutes, Donovan Mitchell, look at the hit rate, right? We need 46 and a half, right? Boston, right here, one, two, this is last 25 games. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in, uh, what is that? 17 of his last 25 game when he plays 38 plus minutes, he's smashed the over on this, you guys. Love this spot for Donovan. We can see here over his last 20 games, he is see on the last 20 games, he is seeing the highest usage on the team at 33 and a half. Um, if we take the weight away, away games, he continues to see even more usage at 35 and a 35.3. Um, usage in the last nine games on the road here it's a smash spot for donovan i think just a little bit too low again this was at 49 and a half last game he said this in four of his last five games love this spot here for donovan um against the knicks at technically at home for him but on the road for cleveland um i like donovan tonight so these are the two plays here for this youtube video guys we got trey young back at home against boston the line is just too low in my opinion at 40 and a half and we got donovan mitchell on the road um, hometown narrative here for him 46 and a half fantasy on the over on both let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about these two drop a like hit the subscribe button and hopefully today we catch